how I got a software engineering internship in my first year of college. I'm just going to go through every step that I took, which led to me being prepared for the interviews, passing and receiving an offer as a software engineering intern over at HubSpot that I'm starting in a couple of weeks. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to go a little bit into my background before I actually started college this year. And two years ago, I done a HTML and CSS course as my father told me to because he is also a programmer himself. He told me, try this out because he really wanted to get me into coding. You know what I'm saying? So I just said, OK, cool, I'll try it out. I didn't really have any interest in coding back then. Back then, I was one of them Fortniteers that would play Fortnite for nine hours a day stink all day and not go outside that was basically who i was as a person so then now i started off the course and i actually started to enjoy it because i was seeing i was just putting words on the screen and then boom i had some big app that had some beautiful components i was like wow this is actually so interesting how like i just from words i made some app as a so then that brought the interest to me. I finished off that course and done one project called an OmniFood site. And then I finished off that project. Then I didn't really code until I started in college last year, September. Last year, September. We started off in college learning Python, things like that. So then, okay, I thought I was doing Python. So then my father, again, because he was guiding me with everything, told me, do a full course on Python, then do a course on data structures and algorithms if you want to stay ahead in computer science. I was like, okay, I'll get that done. I started both of them courses and about halfway through the Python course, I started um, to watch YouTube videos on mock coding interviews because I actually wanted to see how do people actually work through solutions in coding interviews and then okay so then I started to watch a lot of them, like a lot of them. Then I started to kind of like take down the ways I kind of like trying to emulate how somebody was going through a coding interview and then how they passed the coding interview. So then that kind of gave me the edge as to how to actually approach coding interviews in real time. When I finished the data structures and analysis course, I started to do one lead code question a day. I started to do that maybe since November. And around that time, I started to finish off some projects from the 100 Days of Python Code course. And I finished off a full stack blog website. I was pretty proud of that. I was like, I really made a front end and a back end and I made them link together. I was like, wow, I'm really a developer now. You know, this is really development. Obviously, I've done some other projects as well, such as like the snake game I made. I made a Pomodoro timer. And that was, those are really the main ones that I did there. Now, when I finished off the Data Choices and Algorithms course, I started to do lead code every single day. Then I started off another course on full stack development because I knew that if I kind of had a feeling if I knew full stack development and I knew data structures and algorithms, why wouldn't a company give me at least an interview? At least. Because I was just trying to get to the interview stage because I knew once I get to the interview stage, I'm face to face with an interviewer. I knew I would have the capabilities to actually pass that interview. So then... I started off the full stack development course. I made another project known as Event Connect, and that was a full stack event management platform, which obviously lets users create events, how to event dashboard, things like that. All the things you would need in the event management platform. And that was pretty appealing to a few recruiters. Around this time that I was doing those projects, I was trying to go to every single recruiter. So anybody that was in software development that I could possibly see, I was asking them, how do I get a job? How do I get a job? I was literally going out with a cup and just ask begging people how do i get a job i really want to get a job how do i get a job every single career fair that they had in dcu that was my college in dcu i would go to every single thing online event that i could see i would go to any event in in any office i would go to i went to a couple of workshops and things like that from that i really shaped up my approach to getting jobs i shaped up my cv and yeah, I felt pretty prepared to actually start applying because I had heard a lot of advice from all these people and things like that. And I started to apply and I got about 70 rejections, I'd say. And getting all these rejections, I kind of just wanted to give up because it was like, I'm a first year, like who, who's going to hire me? Come on, man. I applied for HubSpot, which is where I'm going to be working soon. And they also rejected me off the rip. And I was like, oh, there's actually nothing I can do. And after that, I just said, okay, I'm just going to finish off the course I was doing. I finished off the full stack development course. Then I finished the event management platform. I had, hadn't finished it before, but I finished it around that time. One day, my friend that's working at HubSpot right now just told me you should apply again because he said oh, my CV actually looks perfect and there's no way that they shouldn't take me. I'm saying. So then I applied again, different email, you know what I'm saying? And I actually got the interview and I was like, wow, I'm saying I actually have an interview. So I got the interview and... 
I went in, went through the first round was coding assessment. I had already done a lot of leak code and a lot of DSA. So I went through that perfectly fine. Then after that, it was a behavior interview. I studied this specific repo that taught me about the star method to answering behavioral interview questions. And I think I studied every single possible question you could literally be asked in a behavioral interview. I was over prepared. Like this was me applying for a senior software engineer for role. I really wanted this internship, like really wanted it. Then that prep, the interview prep that I did, I done so much interview prep for just that 15 minute behavioral call. I said, there's no way they can catch me out in this call. And they didn't. It went out well. Then I had prepared some questions to ask the interviewer afterwards as well. I made sure I was clear and concise in the way I was talking and followed the star methodology throughout every response that I was giving to every question. So then everything was perfectly fine for me. Then passed that round. Next round, technical rounds. When I got the email saying that I was advanced to the final round, I, I was in a event in a school. We we're doing the chase in college and I was one of the people that were answering questions and I just I slammed the table so hard and jumped because I was so happy I got to the final round I was like wow I actually got to the final round I'm actually going to be doing a technical interview. technical interview that I was looking online looking at how other people are doing it and I was like wish I, I wish I could actually do a technical interview myself I've also been doing mock interviews with my friends just because of how fun I found technical interviews things like that then cool Preparing for the technical interview, I was just watching more technical interviews and letting people do mock technical interviews on me. And I really prepared even higher level questions, even though they specifically told me I was going to be asked an easy to medium. I was preparing myself with hearts. I was like, there has to be no way they can catch me out. I must get this job. Must. I think you guys can tell how much I'm passionate about this. I don't know. Went through the interviews. I followed this specific framework throughout the technical interviews, which is what I call the React framework. And I got this off another YouTuber, which I will show here. And the React framework starts off with R, repeat the question back to the interviewer to make sure you understand the problem statement so that you just don't run off doing a problem that wasn't even been asked. E was talk about edge cases. Edge cases before doing the solution makes you code way more efficiently rather than not thinking about edge cases doing a solution it fails against the edge cases then you have to refactor your whole solution and you only have 40 minutes and you run out of time and then yeah you're finished so i thought about edge cases before going into my actual approach to the question then that's a which is approach you could talk about how you want to approach the question you speak about exactly what you're going to be doing throughout every single block of code just so that they can steer you in the right direction in case you are going to do the wrong thing and that saves you a lot of time in the long road. Remember, you only have 40 minutes. You got to get everything done early. So then that was the A. Then C was code out the solution. I was coding out the solution while speaking through different things. And then T was make your own test cases. I think that's one of the biggest things. Make your own test cases. I made my own test cases, tested it manually. I would type out test cases in comments and then walk through okay for this specific situation this okay after going through this line of code it would do this then this just really telling them you really know how to collaborate with a software engineer while solving a problem so then that's how i went through the technical interviews ended up passing the interviews and receiving a offer for a software engineering internship for 2025 summer yeah thank you guys thank you thank, thank you thank you so much thank you thank you so yeah that's me and that's how i got my software engineering internship if you guys have any questions about anything i just said make sure you leave a comment down below if you guys like this video make sure to like subscribe and uh we'll see y'all next time peace